Coach Lightborn, thank you for joining me. Now that the draw has been revealed, Bermuda in Group B, give us your thoughts on how you feel about this particular draw. Yeah, I think that's a brilliant draw for us. Um, our first game in Costa Rica against Haiti, um, a team that we know a little bit about. It will be tough. They finish top of the group stages in the um, Nations League. So we'd have a work cut out for us in, in that first match. Um, but I'm sure the boys will be looking forward to it. And, and uh, now we could start our, our proper planning for, for, that, for that match. And of course, um, what do you think about our, our chances in this group? Uh, it, I mean, it, obviously, it's going to be difficult for us. We're going to have to play uh, at a real high level, um, which I think the players are capable of. Mm -hmm. And we need to have our, our best players healthy, you know, if, in order for us to have the opportunity of uh, making it to the next stage. Um, I think we can get something out of, out of a couple of them games. It's, obviously, the Costa Rica game sticks out that it will be difficult. But the Nicaragua and Haiti game, you know, that, that's a flip of a coin for us, I think. Um, we get it right on the day, and then who knows? Being in the room with some of these coaches and, of course, former players for you, with you, against you, and what was the, what is it like being amongst these these coaches now that you're in that in that field? Yeah, it's it's massive. I mean, it feels good because of the fact that some of the players that you played against, like Michael Johnson, who is coach of Guyana, and uh, Jamaica's coach, I played with him uh, when I was on loan at Hull City. So mm -hmm. it's nice to see that you know. We're all in coaching, we're all still involved in football and, and giving back to the game. All, all the stuff that we learned over the years and being a professional. Mm. And um, you know, it just gives us an opportunity to keep growing. Coach Lightbourne, um, we know we have this, this, this warm up match against uh, the Azores in May. Are there any other matches that you would like to see um, Bermuda take part in in a lead up to this Girl Cup? Um, yeah, I think we had one tentatively in place mm -hmm. to play against Jamaica, so it looks like that could go ahead now. Um, we, we don't have to worry about high altitude training, mm -hmm. um, so that's that's good for us. So, uh, And we also have a game against a team that's from uh, the Azores, so yeah, I think we, we might be able to sneak one more game in. I mm -hmm. know speaking to a couple of the coaches, they're going to be based in Florida, um, that's going to be their training area, so that seems to be our training area. And we, we talked about a couple of things of behind a closed door, and it's not that high pressure of a game, and we get 30 minutes, three 30-minute halves, and that's something that possibly can work for us. So it's a low-key game, and the players get the run out, and everybody, we can swap players around, and it's less pressure on us. Yeah. Well, thank you, Coach Lightborn, and we do look forward to seeing you in your return and get an update on the plans moving forward uh, for Bermuda in the Gold Cup.